Since I can remember, I was always interested in computers and uh, I always wanted to find out about them. They were like uh, machines that are like a little bit magical. And uh, at that time, when I was 10, I was attending a chess club. And uh, once when I was going to my chess class, I found out that actually behind uh, another door, there were computers. So, of course, I opened the door and uh, I entered and I said that uh, I want to join the club and uh, it was like uh, a discovery of paradise for me. It's like a bit like a cake. There are plenty of layers and uh, all the layers are quite delicious. And what I like about computer science now the most, I think, is also solving problems. In mathematics it is all quite abstract and quite theoretical. It's hard really to apply it in practice, like di directly. And with computer science you can actually do that. You can design an algorithm, analyze, have a proof that it works efficiently, and then you can uh, implement it in the computer and make some experiments and see that it actually works. And that's nice, that's nice. And uh, the advantage of it is that I can actually do something that I really feel that it's useful. Let's be honest, ETH is actually quite famous. So I knew that it is a good university. I knew that they have uh, very nice equipment. I knew that uh, people enjoy working there from, from my colleagues. And also there was a very nice position. So I mean, I just had to give it a try. After spending nearly three years at ETH, what I appreciate the most, I think, is uh, a social atmosphere. So basically, wherever I was working before, it was uh, much more oriented uh, uh, in order for yourself to have some results. And when there was a problem to solve, I, as a single person mostly, was sitting on the problem and trying to tackle it. But uh, here at ETH, it is a little bit different, uh, is that people actually are working together. When there is a problem, uh, we meet, we discuss it, and then we have some ideas, then maybe we work alone on this problem, and then we come back to working together. And uh, the whole atmosphere, not only that, but the whole atmosphere is quite social. So there are a lot of group outings where we go together in order to socialize with people. And uh, there are like workshops that are organized by uh, the bosses of, of the groups I'm working in. Uh, this gives a very good opportunity to, to get to know people who you are actually working with. Plenty of uh, problems that we are coping with come from practical scenarios, like they come, for example, from SBB. So it is about scheduling trains. What you want to do is if you have Zurich main station, for example, there are plenty of platforms and there are plenty of trains that maybe come to those platforms at the same time. Uh, of course, the first objective that you want to take care of is that there are no collisions. And the second objective that you would really like to include in your consideration is that um, actually it would be good if the trains don't wait too long. The other project I am involved with is actually the main project of my PhD and it is called reoptimization. Because there is a solution for a problem instance, there is a local modification and you just want to improve that solution in order so it works in new circumstances. And uh, that's actually, that's, that's quite interesting. You can do it with many optimization problems and that's the main core of my PhD, I would say. First of all, uh, there are mountains. And I was very happy that I would move to a country that has a lot of beautiful mountains because where I lived before, that is in the Netherlands, it's totally flat. Uh, I did a lot of hog tours uh, where you actually tie yourself to the rope. Also the ice climbing, which, <laughs> which I find really nice. But I think the, the most important, uh, why I find it so nice is maybe that it gives me the most adrenaline, I think, within all the sports that I do.